As an introduction to um, using ETFE in uh, this plastic film in architectural applications, uh, probably the uh, best place to start is with um, uh, one of the most prominent applications of it today. This is uh, called the shed. It's part of a Hudson Yards, um, Hudson Yards, I believe it is, uh, development at the end of the High Line on Manhattan. And I have a lot of associated um, Oh, visuals of this. So let me just take you to a few of them. So this is a website um, by uh, Thornton Tomasetti. And um, this is the, the the metal structure. There's a lot of nice graphics in here. Um, but, you know, primarily the, the the reason or the introduction here is to show you this idea of, a, of an immense application of this plastic film material. These are inflated plastic pillows. The ETFE is a, of, um, a Teflon coated fluorocarbon. Um, and it has a, incredible properties as far as uh, resistance to soiling, um, structural performance, and um, ability to uh, weather in um, UV, you know, exposure to UV light. Um, one of the biggest frailties of plastics is their degradation under UV sunlight. Um, they become brittle and um, problematic. So um, this is a high performance film, and um, this is probably one of the coolest applications of that film. And you can see that it's a plastic film because some places you'll notice um, that it's a wrinkling a little bit in certain areas um, where, where things are coming together. And I'm not seeing that here right now. But that's a nice up close of that uh, film. And this is, uh, this is obviously just an outstanding project and it's even its structural concepts um, um, alone. So here we have a visualization of the framework. I've been playing around a little bit with this. It looks a little bit light and I don't know why that is. It might be because all of the model layers aren't showing. Oh, there we go. I've changed the lighting on it. So this is actually just cool in and of itself. This is a, a Miro model. It's like a, um, a BIM 360 uh, Autodesk model, but um, this is the trade name that the company uses for um, their facade work. And so the client, right within the uh, browser, the client can manipulate and view a 3D architectural model. And I think you could probably go um, full screen. It doesn't look like that. But this gives you an idea of um, the structure. You can zoom in and zoom out on it. I invite you to come and visit this site. One of the things we're going to do is um, in our project is also make our project move just as these do. This is a video that animates that, um, shows the movement of the shed back and forth. One of the concepts here is it's an ultra lightweight or a lightweight structure that can be moved um, to accommodate indoor and outdoor venues, changing weather conditions. So here are these uh, huge, what they call bogies. You get an idea of the, the size of a person next to them. And um, We'll, we'll do some experimental modeling with that. There's also a great, you know, this is, like I said, this is part of the Hudson Yards project. There's a lot of other um, architectural um, um, wonders going on in the same facility. And they also have another video here. And I don't believe this is probably the same one. I'm going to stop and make sure I have that available for us. Well, maybe, you know, I'm going to break and find a video that describes this very good. So let me just pause this for a second. Okay, so here's the video um, that I was discussing. I'm going to go full screen with this. This is only four minutes long. And I'll just uh, talk over it a little bit. I think this is a great architectural presentation in and of itself. It shows you um, the over construction over this train switchyard for the construction of this massive development of the Hudson Yard. But then, um, here we go, a beautiful uh, visualization of the structure. And that's a solid structure, this kind of bending back of an architectural expression on the building. And then the structure being revealed. All of this is upstairs, up above the deck rigging to manipulate and move objects, and we'll see a little more of that. And here we have the bogies moving back and forth. And you'll notice these are single bogies, single wheels. In the final one, we noticed that those were doubled. 
So here we're peeling back. One of the nice things about this video is this is very descriptive to the client about how the space will function, especially multi-use function or multi-use spaces. So it shows the under underground entry and then at the add grade um, way to manipulate larger objects, in this case maybe like a shipping container sized object and how it would be moved using those overhead gantry lifts that we saw in the first video or first part of the video. In this case it turns out to be staging. Or in this case using the rigging for performance space and you'll notice these curtains coming these uh, walls coming down in order to enclose the space and remember this is rolled out so this whole space can either be an interior space an exterior space or um, just an outdoor area with no no over 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 covering you'll notice some people walking up in the catwalk area and gives you a sense of scale and you can see the cross-section of the films here, the uh, pillowed ETF films. But a nice description of all the flexibility afforded in the spaces. And I think they take a little, now they're going to pull that back, but also they take a little trip up above. It's going to be the idea of the walls is lifting up out of the way. And finally we go up into the deck and you can see the orange, the rigging for hoisting up. Kind of a really an oversimplified version of it. But nonetheless, the overhead rigging and the uh, catwalk system. So you can imagine how um, this would leave a client with the impression of a tremendous amount of flexibility to afforded by this kind of a creation. And, and really this project like this would need that kind of a compelling dis, uh, description in order to, to undergo such a, a huge and massive construction effort um, to make a moving structure like that. And here we are pulling it back so we have a full outdoor you know, amphitheater type uh, construction of it. So I'll end this part of the video um, and we'll pick up again with a second part on our ETF, ETFE films.